Hey guys, CR Dragon here. So I've been hearing many rumors about how Tanya will be changed. To those of you who are wondering what I think about some of those proposed changes, here are some of my thoughts and how people would have to play Tanya if these changes did take effect. So let's get right on into it. Tanya's back one being changed to a high makes her pressure in a way sort of similar to Tremor where he has no mids. Tanya is still able to pressure her opponent, but the Tanya player has to make more decisions on whether to poke or not to poke after she does her strikes. She can also incorporate her low, which is 12 frames, which is still really good and creates more mix-up opportunities. Tanya's back one 2 plus 4 being changed to minus 10 isn't really a huge deal. All this does is that it takes out the option to enter pressure there. Instead, she would have to special cancel into her strikes to make it safer. Tanya's EX record change with it no longer having armor makes it so that the Tanya player has to use an unsafe armored move, either a low drill kick or overhead kick. Which makes sense to me, I really don't think that anyone should have a safe armored move. What they could do though, instead of taking out the armor, is that they could make it so when she EXs the strikes, that you can only do a maximum of two strikes and make the second strike a soft knockdown like the third strike is, so it only does 11%. Tanya's teleport cancel change where they're making all the teleport cancels minus is fine. This makes her cancel pressure in a way similar to Jax, where his rocket launcher cancels aren't plus, but they're just used for pressure and to go into another string or into another rocket launcher cancel. So these changes are interesting. Uh, it really depends on where you want to go with the game. If you want to keep the top tiers the same, uh, if you want to bring low tier characters up, if you want to make top tier characters not top tier anymore, whatever you want to do. But if you do want to make the top tier characters the same, but nerf them just a tiny bit, then what I would do for Tanya personally, if I'm not being biased here, is that I would make it so that her tomfa throw on block would only be plus eight so that means your back one could not jail which means they have a chance to armor sort of like mournful katana her glaive throw um and then i'd also make her so that when she does her strikes that you wouldn't gain double meter um other than that uh i think her her pressure is fine if you want to keep her top tier see that's the thing like it it just depends it depends on what you want but yeah, so there you guys have it. Those are my thoughts on the, the upcoming changes and what I think should be changed. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below in the comment section. So thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, peace out, guys.